given the insights that you have about the global commodity space, so when do you see things picking up? So you're saying that India could perhaps chart its own course, but the global commodity cycle is very, very deeply linked with what happens in China and the demand revival in China. How do you see that story playing out? Yeah, you know, but two things will happen. One is the certain companies, 30% of the company will be very difficult to restart. And uh, some, uh, some of the 70% of the company, 60% of the company has to service the whole market. So I, I have a feeling that the, the you can't open new mines. You can't do more new exploration. So it is, it is a time that whatever asset you can preserve, uh, uh, more and more you can preserve technologically, more advanced, you will be there. I feel that if you give another six months time, I think things will, will, will work out. That's what I can, uh, I can feel it. Sir, I wanted to ask you about your outlook for the oil market as well. Overnight, we've seen President Trump negotiating an historic deal between Saudi Arabia and Russia to end the oil price war. What will this mean for your businesses and the Indian economy? India is the largest importer of oil probably in the world. And it makes, um, uh, uh, for them, it makes uh, make very important whether it's Saudi Arabia, whether it's Russia, to make India as a market. Um, um, I, I believe that this is a very big boys, uh, big boys player, and how they decide the OPEC is there. They decide the price. They produce the largest, so they have their own game. But as far as India is concerned, we are we are the country we can't afford very high price of oil. We can afford a price of around fifty dollars, and that's what we look at. In India, also we are rapidly uh, trying to produce more and more oil and gas in the country. And entire country is supporting how we can do more exploration because it is very important for energy security for our own people to be produce our own oil. So what do you think this means for oil prices moving forward then? You said that India would need to see lower prices in order to sustain its import industry. Do you think that this deal is going to result in lower for longer prices or an escalation in prices from where they're at today? I think the price should be around fifty dollar. Fifty dollar is a price, and uh, and I've seen whenever there is a crisis, uh, anything goes below fifty dollar. Wow. Whether it's Russian, American, and, sir, Saudis, we... they will not accept this price. Yeah. Well, one reason we are so much lower than that at the moment is because of concerns around the global growth picture, sir. And I want to get your thoughts on how India fares in this specifically, because over the weekend, the World Bank did project that India's fiscal year 2021 growth would be at 1.5 to 2.8 percent. This is a huge change from the near 5 percent in the previous fiscal year. So just how worried are you about what this means for the country, what it means for the country's most vulnerable, as you have put your own money towards trying to tackle these concerns? Yeah, India is a quite virgin country. No, but we uh, we have hardly any production. We are to be very much on import import based country. We uh, we import almost four hundred billion dollars worth of oil and gas, gold, copper, the, um, silver, coal. Anything you talk about as a natural resource, our um, um, import of electronic item is almost hundred billion dollars. So it, it is a country which, which is a very, very much import based and it has to. And this is a country of entrepreneurs. And I think the government is very keen. It's a democratic country. It's not China. It's a democratic country. It's allowed people to have their voice. So with this, I have a very strong feel that we are in the very low base. And that when, when things come back, uh, today also I can see the way for the coronavirus that they, the way they have clamped down, I never could believe that something like this can happen in a democratic country where there is so much of self-discipline in the people. So they are really people inside their house. Yeah. And the total debt, though it is still very high, 250, 260 people. So this is the 1.4 billion people, the diverse um, uh, community, diverse weather, diverse the food, everything is very different. But we are going together 
largest democracy of the world. I, I, I am a son of a soil. So I feel very, very proud that the company with the leadership of uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi will, will move forward in a very big way.